My name is Benson Okita. I'm head of monitoring at Save the Elephants. We're going to look for elephants in Savo generally. And in this ecosystem, we have about 13 to 14,000 elephants, at least from the last census that was done in 2014. Dr. Okita is tracking elephants in Savo East National Park. Soon after Mombasa Nairobi Railway project began, Concerns were raised by conservationists fearing the railway passing through the park would adversely affect the local wildlife. Dr. Okita's worries are shared by the Chinese railway designers. They designed and built 33 wildlife passengers along the line. 18 months after work on the railway began, the design of wildlife corridors has become reality. Benson, along with independent conservation groups, has discovered traces of wildlife on both sides of the corridors. Lion. There's a lion footprint, another lion footprint, and it is not alone. There are other cubs. See the babies, cubs, that's smaller, and this is the big lion footprint. So other wildlife you can now use this culvert as an underpass from Savo West into Savo East. Richard! <laughs> wow, you're here, man. Yeah, we just look at the fence and whether it is working okay and uh, yeah, and whether it can really protect the elephant. So, I've seen elephant footprints come right up to it on both sides. Even now, if you come uh -huh. to the other side, so if you cross it, yeah, yeah. look the other side of the railway, you'll yeah. see fresh elephant footprints from last night. They're there now. And they, and where I turned around, and they crossed. And they I, use it. They use it. Dr. Okita continues his research along the Mombasa Nairobi railway line. We see elephants and other wildlife as part of us humans. So we've got a responsibility to keep them alive. We can plan for infrastructure, we can plan for agriculture, we can plan for wildlife, and we can share all this land with all that together. 